All right, so you're engaged. Congratulations. Yes. And you're probably trying to figure out what exactly you wanna put on your wedding registry. Well, we're gonna share seven quality kitchen items that you should strongly consider adding right now. Hey friends, Colin and AJ here with Marriage Inside Out, where we provide content to enrich, inspire, and edify your marriage and relationship. If this is your first time visiting our channel, consider subscribing and check out a lot of the other videos that we have in our collection. So today we are going to talk about seven items that you should definitely consider including on your wedding registry. These are items, a lot of them, that we still use five years into marriage and they have been invaluable and tried and true go-to pieces to have in the kitchen. And I mean, let's just be honest, outside of the bedroom, we probably spend most of our time during the day in the kitchen. Right. So it's a must to have have the right tools and even the right gadgets to make good meals and just build good memories together. Right. So let's get into it. All right, the first item is a cast iron skillet. More specifically, a 12 inch Loge cast iron skillet. It is a classic, uh, sells for right around $45 currently. It's a great natural non-stick surface that you can use. You can use it, of course, on the stove top, but also in the oven. So that's definitely item number one. And the second item is a cutting board. Gotta have a cutting board. To be honest, it's nice to have one of those big, nice chopping big blocks. One. You can actually get a reversible wood cutting board by Sonder Los Angeles. Um, it runs for right around $80 at the moment. And this is cool because you can cut on one side and, and you can flip it over. You can still cut on the other side, but you can actually assemble the things that you've cut in small little trays. You can actually use it as a serving tray itself, so. Next item is a blender. A standard, classic, high-speed blender is useful in all aspects of your kitchen. For your morning routine, for your evening wind down, we use ours for, for smoothies, for shakes. There are actually two that we recommend. One is the Nutribullet, which many of you guys might be familiar with. There is a, a set currently on sale for $140. It is a great option because you have the to-go cups and you have the main blender. Now, if you're looking to upgrade a little, one of our favorite blenders is the Vitamix. Yeah. Yep. We actually even love making like vegan queso and some other things like that. You make a good vegan queso, babe. I appreciate that. <laughs> but who knows? You can put both on, see if anyone wants to gift you the high end or not, right? Hey, you never know until you try. Just put it out there. Sometimes people bite. Right. Just saying. <laughs> And then the next item is a coffee maker. I mean, over 50% of Americans drink coffee. Yeah. And you might be one of those people. Definitely some different options out there. If you consider yourself more of the minimalist, you can just get a simple French press that's more of the old school classic feel. And those run you anywhere from about $20 to $40. Uh, Bodum is a good brand for that. Or maybe you're someone who likes more of the Keurig. You like using the pods, something that's very efficient. You can look at the Keurig K Elite that runs around $130 currently. You can actually make a regular hot coffee or iced coffee using that one. Or if you want the rocket ship version of a coffee maker, something that's a little bit more intricate, there's also the Mocha Master. This is obviously gonna run you more on the high end around $300, so take your pick. All right, the next item is a Dutch oven. This is a great option, especially if you like making stews and other things. You can actually use a Dutch oven for searing as well. Um, there are kind of two ends of the spectrum. The high end is, of course, Le Creuset. You see that everywhere. And we actually found a great affordable Dutch oven. It's by Loge. Um, it runs for $80 and it looks just like the Le Creuset version. It functions just like the Le Creuset version. The only thing you don't have is the logo. So. Yeah. Check it out. You pay for the brand. Let's just be real. <laughs> All right, and then the next item is a pressure cooker. Now, this is an item that's caught a lot of buzz over the past several years. A lot of people use this for making a lot of different types of meals. The thing about the pressure cookers is that they're very efficient. So yeah. if you're trying to, to cook something in a small amount of time versus a, a slow cooker, this is something to really look at. Instapot is a really popular brand. Um, you can find different sizes up to about $100 based on your needs. Right. And the last item is an air fryer. If it says fryer in the name, you know, you're technically still crisping things. You use less fat though. You do, you yeah. do, you less do. Less oil, less fat, <laughs> if that's what you're going for. Right, right. Using uh, an air fryer, there's actually one on the market for $120. You can dehydrate items like certain fruits or vegetables. You can of course make some french fries and other things in that air fryer. Say nothing fries like an air fryer, right? <laughs> right. 
So we hope these items have been helpful. And again, when it comes to choosing things for your registry, you really want to think about what do you feel like you can use long term. A lot of these items that we just listed are things that we still use to this day. And we want to know from you guys, if you're married, what was one item that you put on your registry that you still use today? And if you're a newlywed, what is the one main item you really want to get that's on your registry? Let us know in the comments. Thank you guys again for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate it if you like, comment below, and also share this with someone you feel it might help. We look forward to catching up with you all again soon.